All right, friends. I just got word because I came out of a Wi-Fi graveyard where our new home is located at. Israel is being attacked by Iran directly. This is a direct act of war. Some people say, well, Israel did that when they killed the uh, general and attacked the consulate or whatever they want to call it. And Israel started it. Well, it doesn't matter. It will escalate. We will be dragged into it. And Joe Biden will betray Israel on a magnitude that you can only say, wow, okay, that's the ultimate betrayal. My guess is, and this is just my guess, it will be a slow burn escalating towards the end of this month and into May. As the dreams have told me in the past, there will be leaves on the trees and, and uh, the grass will be green, but it'll still be cool because people are wearing um, springtime jackets and such. So I look for us to be in the dark, attacked, probably somewhere around the end of April into May. And that's just my guess. I'm not putting a time on it or who's attacking us or anything else. But I strongly suspect this attack will be tied to the escalation between Iran, Israel, and Lebanon, Israel. And they are going to take cues from one another. Hezbollah will start launching. Uh, so far, they've lost, launched like 30 to 40 missiles every day. They will do it on a grand scale to deplete uh, Israel's Patriot batteries. And then the Houthis will jump in and also launch not only towards us, but towards the ships that are in uh, the Red Sea. And uh, I believe we will suffer some casualties and the gutless wonder commander in chief the incompetent Blinken will uh, betray Israel. I think civil unrest will escalate dramatically here in the United States. And I think the uh, sleeper cells that are already here that are across the border will wait to take their cues from this escalation. Now that's just my speculation. Right now, and this is before I even knew anything was going on, since, since I bought the house, I have been uh, improving security every time I go there. I just put up, and you've heard me tell you this, I have just put up field fencing, four foot high fencing around my backyard. I have mounted motion lights, battery operated motion lights in my backyard. I will do the same in my front yard. I have talked to the neighbor, met him, and the other people next door, they don't seem to be too anxious to be friendly, and that's fine by me. They have their own privacy fence up there, and they are behind it with all their little yapping dogs, and I'm quite fine with that. I am preparing to move more food and medical supplies to beef up that at uh, both locations and uh, I am preparing uh, for our new home and that is where we're going to uh, stay. Right now we're going to see what where these attack drones hit. Um, it's a fluid situation but the fuse has been lit and is burning. I cannot warn you enough. Now is the time to get yourself right with God. If you're sitting on the fence and saying, well, I'm not sure. I, I don't know if, you know, I'm not ready to do it. I don't believe. Well, it doesn't matter whether you believe or not. The sun will still rise. The sun will still set. You have no effect whether you believe it or not. But let me tell you something. For those that doubt or question Jesus and his authority, I want you to think about something. Satan, Lucifer, had no doubt 
in his mind and acknowledged the Son of God when he tempted him. And Jesus allowed himself to be uh, taken up by Satan to the highest peak to overlook all the world. And Satan offered him all the kingdoms. So Satan teleported Jesus, for lack of a better word, to the highest peak, and Jesus allowed him to have it. Now, Jesus didn't get into calling names or anything else. He just used scripture to rebuke Satan, and that was it. And when Jesus went to Gethsemane and the demon came out, the demon man that came out, possessed by legion, they recognized Jesus and his authority right away and said, hey, are you here to uh, destroy us early? What have we done? You know, you can't do that. And they actually had a conversation with Jesus. When Jesus told them to leave that man, they actually had a conversation about where they're going and sent in the swine and everything else. So Satan and his armies recognize the power of Jesus, recognize the potency of being baptized in repentance. And if you keep saying to yourself, you know, I'm never getting anywhere. I don't know why. Maybe it's because Satan knows you want to move forward, but he puts someone in your way to hold you back. That could be a loved one. That could be a relative. That could be husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, your work. Anything to distract you from moving forward, Satan realizes the power of repentance and baptism and will do everything to keep you from moving forward. You think about that. You have to want to do it. I cannot warn you enough. I have told you my experience briefly of what hell was like, what heaven is like. And if you choose not to, you're condemning yourself. When you die, no matter how many people are around you, you die alone. You will experience one-on-one, -on -one, and it is only you. No matter who's holding your hand, no matter who's saying your prayers, no matter who's thanking you, blessing you, whatever, you die alone and you face the consequences of your actions. You cannot pray your way out of hell. You cannot repent on your deathbed because you tarried too long. That's scripture. You have to act now. You have to want it now. And when you do act, you repent of your sins and you're baptized. Think of this, of your importance that heaven rejoices and angels are happy. They marvel in your glory. That's how important this is. So if you say, I'm just somebody. No, you're not just somebody. When one sinner repents and accepts Jesus Christ, there is glory in heaven in your name and happiness that you've repented and rejoiced. So you think about that. If they're happy, if angels are happy and heaven rejoices, then you know how important it is for Satan to distract you and keep you from that. I want you to think about that. This is just the beginning. It will escalate. Biden will betray Israel even further. Get yourself ready. It's coming, folks. Greg out.